Hello everyone. I just got out of the shower. I've popped on a pimple patch because I got a random pimple. I love that for me. Um, I'm getting my nails done later today. Still broken. I just woke up with this feeling where I was like, I want to try these things, the ones that are meant to last up to six days. I'm going to actually test that. So this video is not just going to be today. I'm going to pop in and show you guys periodically how they are looking like days from now. I'm going to really put them to the test. I just want to get my hair out of my face. Actually, let me show you one of our newest products at Exo Beauty as well. And I'm also going to show you another new product from Adele that I just literally received in the mail like yesterday. It's Friday, it's my favorite day of the week, so I'm in a good mood. Okay, so this is our new Stand Place stick. It's got a few reviews already, glowing reviews on our website. If you do wanna check them out before purchasing, feel free to do that. They're from verified buyers, but this is <clears throat> the packaging. It's got a picture of me on the back. And it's just so handy if you're trying to do a sleek hairstyle or if you've got some like frizzy ends or anything like that. You can also use it in your eyebrows, which I won't do right now. But here's the packaging itself. I'm going to keep this quick because you're not here to see this. But I figured, I don't know if I've showed you on my YouTube channel yet. Basically, you know, when you get all your little baby hairs and things, it literally works so well. It doesn't have any kind of weird feeling in your hair. It doesn't leave your hair feeling crunchy or oily or slimy or anything. It literally feels perfect. And like, look how perfect. It just like pins everything back out of your face. And also it is um, cruelty free. It's vegan and it smells so delicious. My hair's a mess today. It was actually like, my wash day today but you know when you just really don't want to so you just like hold out for one more day maybe it'll turn into two more days we'll see it's a really terrible example of it but you can see it just perfectly slicks back everything so if you have lots of little baby heads down the back up the top you can just like and they stay there it's perfect this is what came in the mail today as well or yesterday i don't really know the technicalities but hey it is the new highbrow at home with Ardell. These are brow tints, they only cost $25. Um, you can get them from Farmers Unicam and Life Pharmacies. And it looks like they come in four different shades. Soft black, dark brown, medium brown, and light brown. They've sent medium brown and dark brown for me. I think I'll start with medium brown. I've been meaning to get my brows done for ages. My actual brow hairs, I've got tattoos, so they look kind of okay. But the actual hairs themselves are like low key really pale some of them so I just like to do this and I thought I might chuck some on my lashes too <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to but do as I say not as I do it says for professional use only on the back is that some kind of legal thing because like they're clearly marketing towards like people doing it at home so I'm kind of confused but this is not the first time I'm using a at home kit I have done it many a times and I've even filmed a how-to video on my channel so I'll link it below for you guys there's no point in me doing a whole how-to in this video I'll just pop it on and we'll see the results oh my gosh they give you a little mixing tray which is kind of cute the things I'm impressed by I'm just changing my hair to a scrunchie because it looks cuter all right so we've got the developer here and we've got the tint powder which is different usually the tint comes in like a little paste so this is slightly different to what I've used in the past. Maybe I won't put it on my lashes because it doesn't say lash tint. <clears throat> my, my voice, my throat. Usually they say like brown lash tint. So do I risk it? Nah, probably not. Probably shouldn't. I feel like this would last you a decent amount of time because you only need a pea-sized amount of this and a little shake of that. That's if I'm doing it right. Who knows? It's kind of hard to mix. This looks kind of red so I'm a little bit nervous. I'm gonna take just like a random little, my camera's dying now. Ah. All right, let's pop this on real quick and then I'll charge my camera. One brow at a time. But yeah, I don't know if I finished my sentence just a little bit just then. Oh my God, my brain's just glitching today. Um, but I'm using an, like a Kylie eyebrow brush that I never use to actually, you know, put on stuff on my eyebrows, just like a little angled brush. Just because it's more precise, you feel. Make sure you get every hair. I'm gonna go back and forth a little to really get it in there. Scrub it in. If you get it everywhere, don't worry. You can just wipe it up with like a little damp Q-tip cotton bud. 10 minutes, so I will be taking this off at quarter past. I got it on my white top. Love that for me. I really like this top too. It's not been 10 minutes yet. We've got five more minutes to go. 
low-key freaking me out right now but that's fine um so i've read the instructions for these they come packaged like this so they sent over the demi wispies and the wispies i'm just using the wispies i think they're a bit longer um they come like this so you get the glue the remover solution the spoolie thing and an applicator thing and the lashes and it looks like you get two sets it says it to make sure it's clean and dry which i've done in the shower this morning um and then curl your lashes i don't even know if i have a lash curler i guess we'll just skip that step i think it would just make it easier to apply the lashes if your lashes are curled up because otherwise you can like try to get under there but We'll see how I go. It says when you are wearing these to avoid using an oil-based cleanser or remover on your eye makeup. So I usually use like oil cleansing every night. So I'll just still do that and avoid the eyelashes so we can see how they wear properly when following the instructions. But keep that in mind. Um, so the glue you get, it's tiny. It says to apply it from base to mid length of your natural lash don't put it on your waterline and it says oh, this is like itchy and it says for longer wear clamp them daily to make sure they're all in place so okay how long do i have to let the glue dry i'm just gonna like go for it it'll be interesting to see if this damages my lashes too i will obviously keep you guys very informed and it says go from outer to inner comes in five different sections so the little sections that look like this you should be applying it under did i say that it says to put it under the lashes not on top um it's very unco for me i'm just gonna pull it up a little so that's not like stabbing me in the eye i have done my lashes like this a few times before oh gosh it is a little bit tricky honestly i feel like it might be easier to grab the lash like this and actually pop your glue on the lash directly on the top of it i'll show you how much glue i'm putting on for reference now the thing i have with this is like how is this hygienic like surely this is just gonna harbor bacteria around your eye area oh this is so hard we're off to a flying great start aren't we oh my god i can't even like can i blink it on please 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 stick oh one oh i've got to rinse off my eyebrows but i got the first one on this will be a practice thing though of course like the more you do it the better and quicker you'll get these feel so cheap but i suppose once again it's a disposable kit you can buy proper quality ones like the Exo Beauty ones and stuff like that. Heaps of lash brands do them. But these are just like cheap little plastic things. It would be cool if they did like replacement sets where you didn't have to buy like everything separately. And it, like it would be cool if you could just buy a bigger glue and like buy a proper pair of the applicators. And then you can just buy the lashes to replace the lashes, you know. The lash so far feels comfortable by the way. So I'm just using a damp cotton round. Oh lord. Why are these black? <laughs> oh no. I kind of have to like scrub it off like it's really stuck on there. Whereas like a lot of these at home kits are more of like a paste. So it kind of wipes off really easily. But I guess because it's the powder. Yeah, it's a little bit different. It feels more like a henna kind of formula or something like that. Which I've also tried. I'll link below if you want to see. I have to say the end result looks pretty amazing. Like they're quite dark right now and that's the medium kit. But of course they're gonna fade after like just a day or two and i probably could have taken it off a couple of minutes earlier to be fair because i started talking too much about my lashes now i'm just going to take one of my favorite products by benefit the bravo conditioning primer which is just like a conditioning brow thing but it's got like a little comb on it so it's just nice to pop the hairs in the right direction as we go so yeah tint I will use that again. The color itself is lovely. Um, the slight red tinge you were seeing. I don't think that's the tint. I think that's just my tattoo. And quite cheap too. $25. And considering you get all of this. Like I literally wouldn't have made a dent. Like I feel like you'd probably get what? 10 uses out of this? More? Who knows? A lot though. Nice quick fix too. Sometimes I just feel like my eyebrows are looking very very dull. And that just instantly revived them and made them look really nice again so i'm stoked okay i think i will apply it my way 
where I'm going to take the tip of the lash and the tweezer and then I'm just going to apply glue onto it and then go like that. I feel like it's a bit easier than trying to paint it onto your actual lashes. I don't know, that's just me. So yeah, enjoy some clips of me struggling, I guess. Huh? Oh, oh no. Maybe let it dry for a second. And pro tip, just make sure you wipe off the little tweezer in between each application. Otherwise, next thing you get glue on this, and then you're putting it on, and then you rip it off, and then you put it on, and you rip it off. And it's just a mess. Because they want you to clamp them. Okay, honestly though, they look in pretty dang amazing. I'm just concerned about bacteria. Because <laughs> it's not like, you know, lash extensions. If you're getting good lash extensions, they should be done one lash to one extension. Bit of glue, you know. So there's not as much like room for germs to get trapped in between. Like this, there's like a lot of glue, a lot of layers of hair. It's all crisscrossing and all sorts of stuff. Like I just feel like there's more room for failure. That's how they're looking from above. Seamless because the strip is underneath. So if I go like that, you might be able to see it. <laughs> but if you look down, it's just gonna look like my own lashes. So. Moving along, please stick. Nope. Oh, I feel like you almost need two hands up just so you can like, see it's stuck to the tweezer. I've got no glue on it either. Oh yes I do, look, there's heaps of glue on it. Okay, I lied. This is so fiddly. I'm glad I'm not in like an anxious mood right now, otherwise I'd just be getting pissed off. I actually can't do this. Oh, now I've dropped the glue. Going with my fingers now. I feel like it's a little bit easier. Ow until you do that and stab yourself with your nail. Everything is going wrong. I dropped the freaking glue on the carpet again and it went all over my carpet. Okay, I'm clamping. Pray it doesn't just come off. It came off. See what I mean? It's just sticking. Oh, take a deep breath. Okay, they're looking bomb though, like amazing. Thing is, you can literally do this with any pair of lashes. There's nothing special about these lashes except for the fact they are cut into five segments. You can literally take any lashes at home and cut them into five segments. Like I don't know if the glue's any different. It literally just looks, feels like like normal lash glue. I guess it lasts longer. It says extended wear. So what did they do to it to make it last longer? Because it literally looks the exact same as any other glue. I don't know. I'd have to like look at the ingredients, you know? Okay, next problem. Fingers are getting very sticky. like not breathing they're a good um oh that one was kind of easy size <laughs> for my eye i guess like they fit really well you know i suppose if you had bigger eyes you could probably space them out slightly more or if you have smaller eyes you could always just not use one of the um little clusters pray for me i'm clamping them now oh uh -huh. yeah there it goes it's off again clamping is just not the goods i would just love to have seen like the people who invented these at Ardell. Like, ow. I would love to see like if they struggled when they were like, okay, now let's test it. Did they take it home like the, sam ow, the samples and like sit here like this, like me? Or did they just not even do it? I don't know. Oh shit. I'm actually just gonna let that sit there until it dries some more. They look very natural. Like my lashes, but better. Um, kind of looks like I'm wearing mascara. Can you still wear mascara with these? I probably wouldn't, cause that's just dirty. If you're gonna not wash it off properly. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and I'll be back. I'm gonna clamp these once they're like feeling dried down. I'm gonna like really squeeze them together. But right now there's so much glue everywhere that if I do that, it's just gonna fly off again. I'm just not having it. I'm done. But I'm terrified to clamp. I tried to clamp this one again and it almost came off again and it was a whole journey, but they're on. They look beautiful. Like, I love the way my lashes look. Um, I don't know. It took me that long. Like I said, it would get quicker. But, you know, it's like, for me, I wear falsies a lot. And, you know, do I want to spend ten times as long doing this once a week, for argument's sake? Or do I want to just take a tenth of the time and just smack them on each time I want to wear false lashes? I don't know. Like I do like how, you know, you can put these on and you feel real lovely without um, eyelash extensions. And like, 
I can't get eyelash extensions anymore because I'm allergic to the glue and stuff. Will I be allergic to this glue? Oh, I guess we will find out. But you know, if I wasn't allergic to this glue, then it's like a alternative for non-makeup days when I don't want to wear like makeup and stuff and they're just already there. Don't have to go to extra effort to put them on. Don't know. I see pros and cons, but I do love how they look. So I will uh pop back, I guess, tomorrow. Good morning, my loves. Okay. So it's the next morning. So I obviously washed my face last night and this morning. Last night just over the sink and then this morning in the shower with lots of steam. So first of all, I feel like I need to mention they felt a little bit uncomfortable during the afternoon and evening last night and especially overnight. I woke up a few times. I was like, oh, my eyes feel like weird. But it's probably just that I'm not used to it. Do you know what I mean? Like it's something you'd have to get used to. It's like when you first get lash extensions and you're not used to them and they feel weird. And then slowly you just adjust. Like I feel like it's that vibe. So that happened and um yeah i just used like a foaming cleanser didn't have any issues with any falling off but this morning with like the steamy shower if you can see this one on the very corner is kind of hanging on for dear life so i think i'm gonna try to pull him off yeah he's barely even stuck on there i was a bit nervous to do that in case i like ripped out a lash but still feels sticky that's the other thing the glue felt like it took maybe four or five hours to fully dry um and I think that's why they say to reclaim them each day because after you shower the steam kind of loosens them and then like it gets a little bit sticky all over again so you can kind of like push them back down and stick them down again or something I don't know but anyways I'm just going to add some more of this extended wear glue also I was so scared I was going to have like an allergic reaction but so far so good. I woke up with my eyes feeling a bit itchy but I think it's just hay fever because I get itchy eyes like every morning. I still love the way they look. I feel like this side I obviously misplaced one a little bit because it looks like a bit of gap. When I went and got my nails done though my nail lady was complimenting them. She was like oh let me know how they go because they look really cool um, and she doesn't really get eyelash extensions either so honestly if random people are complimenting them it's a good sign. Oh god. <sighs> Push that into the lash. I'll let it dry for a bit and then I'll just squeeze it with my fingers. I feel like that's the best way rather than using the tool because it just gets sticky. That's the only update I have for you right now. Oh my gosh, my eyebrows are looking hectic. So let me just brush them out. So yeah, so far like, I love how they look. I'm just not sold on the actual functionality and like that kind of side of it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I love how they look. But like for a one day kind of thing. I'm going to go because those dogs are just mad good morning okay so it is now tuesday i popped these on friday so it's only four of the six days that apparently you can keep them on and to be honest today is the most comfortable they have felt on the first like three days i would like to say they were so uncomfortable my eyes and every morning i would wake up and just be able to feel them like during the night if I woke up I could feel them they felt heavy they felt there like it felt really obvious and at this point I'm kind of keen just to take them off because even though they now feel comfortable I guess they've kind of like slid down away from the root um they just look hectic like they look so messy compared to my last updates and I just don't really know like I'm going to try and fix them with the little spoolie that comes with it, just out of curiosity. I haven't done my skincare yet because I figure if I'm taking these off, I might want to like wash my face afterwards. Um, yeah, I don't even think these are savable. Like they just look really gappy and hectic. So I sleep on my face, by the way. So there is a good chance that some of you guys might be able to get the full six days I feel like this is a big factor in why they look so messy. I think I've squashed them when sleeping. They just, yeah, they don't really look the best anymore. So they still feel quite secure. There's one on this side that is like kind of popping off. So I don't know if that's my fault or if it's just the glue giving up. I feel like you probably could, yeah, get six days, but they just kind of look crap. So I'm just going to see how to remove them and show you the process. Hopefully it's easy. Hopefully we don't damage our lashes. That's what I'm really worried about. And that's why... I want to do this on camera. Removal. Apply lash remover to your underside of clusters with cotton swab. Carefully slide clusters off natural lashes. Avoid tugging on natural lashes. Rinse eyes with water to remove any residue. Okay, that seems pretty straightforward. This is how the stuff looks. It's in the same kind of packaging as the actual glue itself. So what do I just like... Okay, it doesn't fit in there. How do I get it on? Okay. You can't squeeze that little chew. I'm not quite sure how to get 
Okay, I'm just tapping it on the tray that comes with the kit. It's like impossible to even get it. Like, do I need a lot or like just a little bit? I just clicked. I think that's what these two trays are for, like the glue and the remover. See there? It's just not coming out. Oh, and by the way, I did use mascara on them one time on Friday night, was it? Or Saturday night? And the mascara came off ow, 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 really easily. I just um, put it only on the tops and then just washed the top of my lashes and then gently washed underneath as well with like a foaming cleanser. And it actually came off pretty easily. I got mine nice and clean, but it's not really nice. I just wanted to try it. Oh my God, this is stinging my eyes. Mm. Are any of these wanting to come off yet? Oh, I got one. Ow. Two. Okay. I feel like this is a little bit of a way to do it. Just kind of lift up your lid with your finger, pop your finger behind, and then just kind of like put the glue on with a little bit of pressure so that it doesn't seep into your eye and sting like what I've done. That's three, so there should be two more left, unless one's fallen off without me knowing. Okay. Both of these two were stuck together. And I suppose you could also now go in with like an oil based remover as well, just to get rid of any extra. So I'm gonna do the same thing, lift up, and then kind of like rub it against my finger. So would I do these again? I don't think I would do these again. I think I would do them again with just regular glue and take them off at the end of the night because they look amazing. Um, you know, applied underneath the lash style looks good and everything. Would I apply them with this extended glue? Probably not. Um, I just think the trade-off isn't worth it. They're uncomfortable to me when you wear them for a longer amount of time. Like when you wear them overnight and they just start looking really like eh. Like for me it'd be quicker just to chuck on falsies each day. But you know, once in a while, apply them underneath in little clusters, cut them up. Looks really good. I've done it before in the past. Sorry if I'm making barely any sense. I literally woke up like half an hour ago I had a shower and here I am I'm like literally still half asleep let me know what you guys think would you wear something like this or is this just something that you think you'd have a similar opinion to me with because everyone's different and I reckon some people would probably end up swearing by these kinds of products it could be worth a try if you're curious like I'm glad I tried them okay let's see if any of these are gonna slide off yes it's quite satisfying removing them and I'm not pulling any of my natural lashes at all, I would tell you. None of my natural lashes seem to have come out. Um, oh, there's one tiny one there. That was probably more when I was applying them, though. It's just been chilling. Yeah, I didn't feel like any were being pulled just then. I have just had a closer look at the lashes I removed. And I think I counted four natural lashes. But remember, that's not to say that those all came out when I was, like, applying them or removing them. Sometimes when you've got like clusters on, the lashes fall out, but they've got nowhere to go, you know, naturally, because your lashes fall out naturally all the time. So it could have been natural lash fall. Not sure if it damaged my actual lashes. My lashes right now feel very sticky. So yeah, I'm going to go wash my eyes with a oil-based cleanser. They look kind of the same. Look on the other side on. I think they look the same. There's no like big huge gaps or snapped lashes or anything like that so I think we're pretty good. Worth the try but not perfect. I don't know plus some of it's just my application probably like I said I'm sure over time you would get better but for me it's just not worth it. So yeah that's my little review. What is this hair doing? I thought that was snapped but it's just like my roots and then the rest is blonde. Oh my god. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll link these below if you are keen to pick any up and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>